What is up guys? Make sure that if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. What is up guys? Fahir here from awesometoots.com and our fellow YouTubers who are also doing Unity tutorials are doing this cool challenge that Bracky's made up, create your game in 10 minutes. It's a lot of fun, you get to challenge yourself, your creativity and you get to create a game in 10 minutes. So let's see if that is possible because I'm gonna participate right now. But before I do that, I am gonna go off screen and I am also going to start my timer. So here is my timer right here when I press the start button, which I'm gonna do in a moment. Then we are going to start and create a game. So let's go. You see here the timer is now counting and I lost a second, but I'm gonna quickly make it up because here I'm strictly gonna go right now and create a game by adding the background and the ground. I'm gonna set the order in layer one for the ground, create an empty game object. This is going to be the ground parent and come on quickly ground parent and set the ground as a child duplicate it move it here duplicate it move it here and of course take the ground itself move it here at the bottom we of course need to add a box glider on him so that he can or the player can stand on the ground and here and just simply move it a little bit upwards and resize a little bit just a little bit up let's say 3.8 yeah 3.8 is exactly what i need so here for the player we have his animation which is the idle i am not gonna go into the jump animation because we don't have time i need to slice this so slice it apply and quickly go here and add the animation inside and here i am going to create a new folder for animations select the animations folder this is going to be our idle animation i'm going to change also the name of this game object to player and set the scale at 0 0.5 0 0.5 because he is too big at the moment set him here of course the order in layer is going to be two because i want him to be visible now he is going to have a box collider and he is going to have a rigid body 2d i am going to resize the box collider just a little bit so yeah and here I'm gonna right click and create a new folder for my scripts. I don't have too much time to be organized because well, it's challenge. And here I'm gonna call player jump and we need to attach that script on the player. I really hate it when, I really hate it when this happens. So here, attach it on the player. I dragged and dropped, it did not work. Anyways, it is not important. What I need to do here is I need to create a private rigid body 2d which i'm going to call my body uh private float jump force which is equal to 5f and in the awake function it can be in the start as well but well i need to waste time and put it in the awake which is equal to get component rigid body 2d component and here we're going to say void jump and simply here what we are going to do is if input get key down so if we press the key code space we are gonna call here my body velocity is equal to new vector to my body velocity dot x and here we are gonna apply the jump force jump force voila we're good to go let's see if this actually works we're simply gonna put jump in the update we're gonna go back here and it will take unity a little bit of time as always to sabotage me but actually this works which is cool the next thing that we are gonna do is go here into the sprites take the obstacle this is the knife obstacle i'm gonna set the order in layer at three and also resize him because it is too big it needs a rigid body 2d which i'm gonna set to be kinematic because we don't need gravity here and we need a box collider like this and also create a knife tag right here and attach it put the knife tag on the game object so simply go here click on add tag and create it i'm i'm pretending like i'm doing a tutorial which is actually not i'm creating a game myself so go here something like this voila we are good to go this is okay and this is going to be our knife right and we're also going to have a knife left so i think this is okay and let me just go here knife left we do need to go here in the assets and scripts and right click and i'm gonna create a c-sharp script for the knife script and let's attach it on both so here we have knife right and we also have knife left 
I'm gonna open these scripts and what do we have and what do we need in these scripts? Well, the first thing that we need is a public bool and this is going to be move right and I hate it. You see this, what happens? I don't believe it. Visual Studio just lags on me. So private float speed, which is equal to 2F and believe it or not, I need to turn this off and turn it on again because it was showing me those errors for some reason and I need to hurry so that I can make it because I have only five minutes left for all of this to work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So here we have two uh, and here I'm gonna create void move and this one is going to be called in the update function. So the move function will be called in the update and here in the move, we are simply going to test if we are moving right. So if we are supposed to move right, we are gonna say vector three temp is equal to transform position, position and temp dot X plus, so plus equals to, uh, here we're gonna say speed multiplied by time dot delta time and transform that position is equal to temp and voila. And else, if this is not true, we're gonna, well, duplicate this and I'm gonna say minus because if we are moving left, we are gonna go to the negative side and make sure this is called in the update function. And if I quickly just hit the play button so that we can actually see here, yeah, it is moving. Definitely it is moving the night right and for the left, here I need to say move right and I need to also set or flip the X for it. So let me quickly go here and see if this actually works. Yes, this actually works pretty cool. And here I'm gonna say prefabs folder and I'm gonna drag and drop both of these as prefabs. But before I actually go and create the spawner, you see here, here we have negative 3.7 for the Y and here we have somewhat 4.5 or 4.5 or something like that, yeah. So what do we need to do? Well, here I'm gonna create an empty game object and put it at zero, zero, zero. And this is going to be our spawner left. So spawner on the left side, I'm gonna put it here. Quickly go into the scripts folder, create a new scripts folder. It's going to be a spawner script. And for the spawner script, Come on, man, attach it quickly. Script, be attached, man. Be attach yourself. For the obstacles or spawners, what we need? Well, first here, a uh, public, not public, public game object obstacle. And here we need a private float, which is gonna be maximum underscore Y. And you saw it, it, it can be, you know, something like 4.5F. And the minimum underscore Y is gonna be negative three F or it can be, yeah, negative three. We can change this later on. So what we need to do here is create an I enumerator enumerator, which I'm gonna call start spawning. And here simply we're gonna say yield return new, wait for seconds. And we are gonna wait on the random dot range from one second to two seconds. And then simply we are gonna instantiate the obstacle. And the next thing we're gonna say float y is equal to random dot range from minimum y to maximum y like this. And here I'm gonna say obstacle dot transform dot position is gonna be equal to new vector two transform dot position dot x and y here. And start coroutine, not start spawning and this coroutine we need to call it here and we need to call it here so voila this is going to start spawning our obstacles and we need to go here and this is our obstacle left if you remember so go quickly into assets and the prefabs for the left drag and drop the left duplicate it this is going to be our right and for the right i'm going to put it here this side and this is going to be for our right we have still one more minute left but i think i can make it i think this right here is going to start spawning the obstacles you can see voila the obstacles are being spawned and the next thing that we need to do or the last thing we need to do is go here player jump script and right here i need to say or i actually on trigger enter 2d here it is this is going to be our target 
and I hate this private here and we simply need to do, I have 15 more seconds. So here we need to say if target dot tag is equal to knife, then we are dead and the game stops. So time dot time scale, time scale is equal to zero. And while we're good to go, I have still 30 seconds left to test it out. I need to select the knives. Come on knives, select them and I need to set them to be triggers. Come on, is trigger, voila, and this. Come on, we have 22 seconds left. We need to touch our knives and here and here and bam and voila, we are done. We are done, still 14 seconds left and I am going to hit the pause button because yeah, I am done. And this right here, this is not an error in my project. This is something Unity related. I don't care what you say. I created a game in under 10 minutes, voila. So yeah, this is it guys for this video. This is how you get things done in under 10 minutes and I am 10 seconds early. I'm 10 seconds early, baby. Anyways, if you want to download this complete project, link is in the description below, you can do that. If you want me to create this tutorial again from scratch, explaining everything in detail, what I'm doing, and also maybe add a timer that you can count your score and restart the game when you die, because here, as you just saw, we only, you know, die and we stop the time. You see here, we can, you know, avoid all of these obstacles and avoid it and avoid until we get touched like this on our hair and we die and the game simply starts you need to restart it so you need to press press play and play again so that you can actually play the game but no biggies if you want me to well recreate it from scratch and explain everything in detail what i did and also maybe add a timer and, and some such features let me know in the description below and I will do that. Again, you can download this complete project. Link is in the description below and Fahir here, here from awesomedudes.com. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications.